usually Call of Duty's annual release schedule is a no-brainer for Activision. However, with the success of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, specifically Warzone, this year's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War has a lot to live up to. There's something special about rounding up a horde of zombies while sipping a speed cola. And thankfully, Cold War delivers an exciting top tier zombie mode. It's challenging, fast paced, and the map is full of secrets for you to uncover. The map size is a perfect size, giving you and your friends room to wrangle zombies, but not enough to make getting to your downed teammates difficult. Zombie's biggest downfall is its matchmaking. Sometimes my party will load into a match only to find myself in a game with strangers. It reminds me of the early days of Warzone matchmaking, but that's one nostalgia trip I'll gladly skip. It's an ongoing joke in the COD community that players usually don't play the campaign. However, Black Ops Cold War should be the exception. The game's story is a throwback to 80s action films, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's filled with cliches, slow-mo action sequences, large explosions, and cheesy one-liners. The PlayStation 5's haptic controls and adaptive triggers shine as it elevates the theatrics without sacrificing your KDA. Cold War's multiplayer is one of the smoothest COD experiences that I've played. Others may knock its simplicity, but that's why it's so good. You can't vault, slide cancel, or open doors, and you only have 29 weapons at your disposal. Its stripped down mechanics make multiplayer feels like a classic shooter experience similar to a revved up 007 game or OG Black Ops, especially with the return of Nuketown. It's hard to compare Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold War to Modern Warfare or even Warzone because each one provides a different way to play COD. They all work. And for Cold War, you'll get a classic Black Ops experience that is the best in the series.